Hi guys, this is Ginger Cook and we're doing the second painting of our bird hot. And um, just a real quick caveat, uh, we've had a little trouble on our end with the Xfinity streaming uh, from the last show. So um, even though we finished the painting and I assigned it, we went ahead and did a couple more things and the entire video will be on our website uh, after you know sometime tonight if you want to see the last like five minutes of it but really you got like 99.9 percent .9 of all the information we were just chatting and i want to uh welcome everybody who's new to our channel which is take a moment to subscribe we're going to be painting a series of three birds today uh hopping back and forth between the art shirt of my daughter cinnamon cooney and myself so she's done a painting i've done a painting uh, she did another painting. I will do a painting. Then she will do another painting of a bird, and then I will do the final painting. Holy and, moly! And and um, if, uh, don't worry if, if some happens and technology being what it is, if uh, solar flares or whatever, if we lose <laughs> the stream, we will continue recording and make sure that these videos go up. Okay, so you won't miss anything. But in the meantime, a like, thumbs up. Come on, thumbs up. And um, oh, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, just keep in mind that all the, the original paintings are at gingercookauction.com. Both Cinnamon's and my paintings from today, uh, the auction, you know, are, and the auction will be going on for uh, one week of, from today. So it'll end in the evening on the following Saturday. So, John, if you'll come on down to our, to our board, to our board, just let you know. Oh, I don't want to keep sneezing. Whenever I come up here, I sneeze. Here, <laughs> this is the bird we're doing today now, but this is the one we did in the in the earlier hour. And you see, he's gal, you know, the gallery wrap, and he's um, painted all the way around. These are six by six little gallery wrap, uh, creative um, bark uh, from uh, Jerry's Artorama. And you'll notice that we had sort of a purple background on the first one, and then we put the background on top. Gives it a really nice effect. We, I was trying to decide on this background, you know, look at that, how dull is that, you know, that army green there from that bird. And I was looking at the blue and I decided uh, because of this one, because of this one, I thought it might be nice, even though I'm going to have some blue on here on the background, I thought these might go better if I had the purple. So I'm going to put this one away. We've traced the, we've traced the bird on while we, we were waiting. And the first one I traced on was the, blue one and then I decided I didn't like the blue background and then I went ahead and traced the other one on. Notice I used two different colors of ink. Whenever you're using the same traceable change change your ink colors so that you know where you've drawn. If you have to use it, you can use these again and again you just change ink colors. Good little tip, right? So again we want to thank people who uh, from our, um, our last uh, earlier broadcast a little while ago and again, if you're just catching up, we want to thank our moderators for hanging there with and with us. Um, we forgot to tell you that there was a, uh, you know, we didn't get to finish the contest part <laughs> where you could win uh, either a Salvador uh, paint kit. Let me pop that over oh, there. Then right I'll show you here. this. You can win the Salvador paint kit. So the, the secret word is bird hop. And uh, when you leave a comment, not in the live chat, okay? Um, but on the um, when the video is finished, you need to have the hashtag bird hop and then hashtag uh, Salvador kit. Salvador kit, all one word for a chance to either win the print or the bird or the the print of the birds. Now I wish I had to sh sh show you last um, last month's prints, but John um, and uh, Cinnamon. Uh, well, they had that storm go through. Mail's been the, delayed. Mail's been delayed. Just... There's somewhere my. You know, they're somewhere between somewhere us between and them. Us, us and them. So um, maybe I just if if Linda's watching, uh, maybe uh, she could ask Cinnamon to show them because she still has some she can show you. Because um, they have to go to me and I have to sign them and then send them back to her. Okay, does that make sense? And then they're mailing them out. But I want to also mention that um, last last month we did a drawing for the bird hop and nobody claimed their prints. Nobody. You have to, because we don't announce the winners uh, the same day. It's always the following week. So the winners for the, the prints will be announced a week from Monday. Yeah, I think it's the 20th. The 20th. It's in the description. 
than the description. So you got to make sure to go back and watch that show to see if you're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And, and we've had an awful lot of people not claim their wonderful prizes because they don't go to the next, you know, they're not watching the following videos to get the, um, to see if they were winners. Because we're not posting, the whole idea is, you know, uh, to, uh, to give them away to enthusiastic viewers who want to watch our next video. Yes? Yes and yes. That's and yes. So that, that would be it. All right. So we're using the same paint palette as before. Ooh, stay um, wet. And then we wet. did the stay wet. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just start certain things. Like if you'll notice that this bird, see all this red? If you want something bright like that, it's got to be white. You've got to have white first. So let's paint, let's just do a layer of white anywhere we want the, well, there's brightness. white too on the bird on his tummy and everything. So we're going to paint this whole underside one coat of white, probably closer to two when this is dry. We'll probably dry it, but we know that we want some white up here on this. We want, that's going to be a bright red. And um, so we want to make sure that to get the bright color, we we need to do that. So that's and I used some colored pencil. You could kind of see what I went over this with colored pencil, so you could kind of see the outline because the white didn't show up very well. So that's what I've got yeah, that's there. A pretty pretty old sheet of Sorel we're still using. Yeah, we're using an old sheet of Sorel. I know. Just we're there too we go. Cheap. So we're gonna leave that like that. Now let's wipe the brush off and come along here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take some purple and dark green. Well, that's the thalo green. Okay. And a little bit of yellow. There you go. You cat yellow medium. Got I want a dark color here. I'm going to go ahead and paint my branch. Uh, I don't want just a straight line. I want something sort of crookedy a little bit. Even though in the photograph, it looks like a pole. I want it to feel more like a branch. And remember I told you with the gallery wrap, you want to go around the outside um, and continue that branch on the outside too. Uh, this is a good plan. And I'll do it over here on this side. I'll just continue this uh, this nice branch this way. In fact, on this one that we did earlier, see even on the bottom I added it, and I added the branch over here. And honestly, I could have carried it over to the top, too. I think I'll do that now. Uh, Why not, right? It's, it's just not going to be in part of the scan. But, I mean, that's the kind of stuff you want to do, right? So um, Stay focused, please. Sorry. But, I mean, it's important to know these things. Yes, John? Yes, it is. It's important to know those things. And so um, while that's drying, I'm going to rinse the brush now because uh, it's uh, it's it's got green on it. And I want to do purple. So I'm going to take Dosne purple, a little, little ultramarine blue. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this bird. Uh, I'm going to paint him purple. That's easy, yes? We'll purple just take that color. dark Dosne purple. Now, something you may not know about Dosne is that when you use it, it has a tendency to cause a bit of a glare in your photos. So you go to take a photo of your painting, you've got this kind of white fuzzy glob there like an alien to try to get in your paint photo. Have you ever had that happen? Where you just kind of this fuzzy white thing and you say, there's no ghost here, there's no ghost. It's the it's it's the glare from the purple. Now, um, it's just that you want to make sure, what, how do you get rid of that, John? That glare from the purple, What 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 can people do? Is there photographing? I, I yeah. use, well, I use a polarizing filter. Well, so how do you get a polarizing filter? How does that well, work? Well, see, on on your phone or something, you have to hold it in front of it and twist it, and it's not easy. Again, you just have to work. Well, your best thing to do is use a flat lighting as much as you can. Like a cloudy day would be a better choice than a bright sunny day. Okay, yes. It okay. is a challenge. But if they wanted a polarizing filter, because we've got some people out there that, that want the best photo ever of their artwork. and I thought that was very innovative, what you're telling us about that. You, where are you going to learn some great stuff? Come here, because John has ma I amazing have ideas. I've got all kinds of answers. So so what would you say, John, is the, is the key here to that? 
The f how, how do they get a polarizing filter? Well, it depends on the camera, and then uh, we get them on Amazon or B uh, and H Photo. Okay, do they fit on an iPhone or what? You can get from you know, through an adapter. You can get an adapter for your iPhone, put a polarizing filter on it. Okay. And a polarizing filter, you have to actually twist it to use it, to, and you can see the effect. It'll take the glares out. What do you mean twist it? That would make no sense to me. Twisting it rotates. It. It's a rotating filter. You rotate it around till the glare is gone, and then take the picture. Yep. Well, see, there's the expl explanation, not just just twisting. I mean, I need more than that, <laughs> darling. I need more than that. I need. I need more yeah, information. You, you, your more is here. Take a picture of this for me, will you? Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, if I must know, I mean, what do I have to know, right? That that's that's the key here. What do I have to know? So as you can see, that we've got that. Now again, I want to remind you that these original paintings. Today, they'll be on, up for auction for one week. GingerCookAuction.com. You'll be able to purchase um, an original uh, Cinnamon Cooney bird painting or one of our original uh, birds here, Ginger Cook. And um, uh, you just have to uh, go to that uh, go to that website, register, and bid. That's so, all there is to it. That's all. That's pretty simple, and uh, you don't have to have a PayPal account to um, um, to to pay, you know the we do up we do credit cards and like that and paypal but you if you're donating to us or if you're doing something with paypal and you don't have a paypal account you can still use paypal is that correct Don? that's correct you do not have to have a paypal account to make donations or even join our academy you just use your debit credit card yeah so i'm going to dry this uh for a minute and perhaps you would um share with them more about the secret word and winning. Oh, thanks for the segue that I haven't even got ready. Go ahead, though. All right, what well, she's drawing that. I know last time the comment was made that when she's drawing, my voice gets a little bit like um, Charlie Brown and gets scratchy. That has to do with the fact that we have a suppressor on her microphone that also interferes with mine a little bit. So that's why it comes out like that. Uh, to participate in the giveaways, you want to use these hashtags in the comments after the show under the video, not during the live show, not in the chat. You're going to put in the hashtag bird hop or hashtag Salvador kit. And I believe the drawing is on the 20th. If somebody can verify that as a Monday, that would be great. All and right. Queenness is back. Queenness is back. Is my microphone on? I all think right, so, it is. It is bouncing around, so it must be. All right, so here we go. We're gonna come up here like this. We've dried that, and just using a, a small brush here, a little three eighths inch, one no, quarter inch. Uh, there's no water on the brush. It's just slightly damp, and we use a little bit of the um, yellow with a little tiny bit of the the burnt sienna in it, and uh, we're just gonna kind of bring it over. Like that. Don't don't lose the bottom of the. Um, you can even go outside the lines here if you can make the branch a little thicker. That's fine. But make sure that the bottom part of the branch stays dark. Okay. And just, we're just going to start uh, layering the colors. This is just that's what you want to do when you're painting with acrylics. Is you want to take the time to layer the colors. There's a little uh, burnt sienna in that same color. And we'll add a little bit of that color to it too in a few places. It don't have to put it everywhere, but just suggest that might be there. There we go. Just gives a little more oomph to the branch. Oomph. Did your mom used to say that, John? Oomph. Yeah, a little more oomph. Put a little oomph behind oomph. that. A little more oomph behind it. Remember or what that? about elbow grease? Let's put some elbow grease into that. And that made no sense to me. Yeah. My my elbows are not greasy. No, mine aren't So either. what was she trying to say? I don't know. It's just hard to know, isn't it? So yeah, I'm it really gonna, is. That, I'm going to do another coat of white on here like this. And you see how it's so much whiter now the second time? And I'll tell you a secret. If you want some bright colors, and birds and flowers are a couple of the things in nature that that um, really can go beautifully bright, bright on you. And um, if you want your colors to show up, it's very important to 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 have white underneath okay and that's that's key because that that will make your colors the brightest like yellows and reds and stuff like that yellow really only paints over um it's a, to use some of that white again uh really only paints over 
uh, white easily. It doesn't, in you know, acrylics, um, it really needs a white light, very light background for it to show up. Let's make a little bit of lighter green here. So you can always change the greens. There you go, a little brighter green there. Got all these gorgeous colors in this branch now. So it didn't, didn't need much. But that's that's the trick of layering. So while that's that's drying, we're gonna take another brush and do the background. Um, here we go, this is a um, half inch uh, Bristol Lawn. And I wanna, the background on this is going to be in the blue. So I want to take some white over here in my phthalo blue. And I want to come up here like that. Oh, we had a super chat come through and I did not see it. I apologize for it. I just noticed that on my other screen. Thank you, whomever made the super chat through YouTube. Oh, gosh, thank you very much. And we appreciate, we appreciate all these uh, kind of areas of support that you guys do. I just change the the blue a little bit, add a little phthalo green to that. And I want to leave some of this purple showing through. I don't want all the same colors of blue, even a little ultramarine blue here. You want to change these around just a bit. Mostly it's phthalo and uh, either lighter, or darker phthalo blue. So it's mo mostly it's that. But um, um, going to kind of spread it over the sides too, like that. Remember we talked about that kind of trick. If you put one color on one side of your brush and one on the other, you have the white, you can kind of flip them back and forth and get some pretty neat effects. The trick is you want a little bit of that purple, just you want to be a little haphazard with this. Yeah. In other words, you don't want to be super precise. Yeah, it's the whole idea behind this is that it's um, impressionism. Impressionistic. And also, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. And so this dark underneath that branch, so I want it um, a little bit lighter there so that green shows up. And if I was going to have a darker blue, it would probably be like right on top here um, where the branch is um, the lightest. Does that make sense? Yeah, Ginger right now is using the new silver brush company, the Bristolon series of angle brushes they just introduced. Yeah, they're, they're wonderful. And we, we have found that the brush guys, um, dot com, little out, outfit in California. Um, if you use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, you get 5% off any of the brushes that you order. Maybe you have some brushes you like better, or really anything on their site. And, um, they're they're now carrying these Bristol on brushes. Um, we haven't um, uh, we have not put them in our Amazon store. Uh, we're very careful about that. Um, the Salvador paint sets are in the Amazon store, and when they go on sale, uh, they're marvelous paints, and you can get a whole set of them for sometimes ten dollars. If you have a Prime membership, you get shipping. So here we go. Let's put this up here like that, and, which is really nice and uh, kind of can verify the products. We, <laughs> we got basically a case of yeah, them occasionally, right occasionally, like certain companies, um, show me nameless, but they may post some paints up on Amazon and some products and they're like three or four times more money. And it depends on the week that they decide. I don't know um how how expensive they are so i always tell people if you're going to be buying anything off of amazon the way of paint um uh that's like from you know like products like that um because you know golden isn't putting their paint up for sale on the website some art company is right and you may i don't want you to have to pay three or four times more money for it than you need to so just check your prices be you know just be a conscientious sharp shopper that's a good word, isn't it? Conscientious shopper. Conscientious sharper. shopper. A little bit off a topic here. Several comments have gone by about the gorgeousness of the queen's hair today. Oh, thank you. What does the queen use on said hair? Shampoos oh, and etc. I found some new stuff, and I'll show it to you next video. Okay. When yeah. I was at the hairdresser, <laughs> she get, sold me this stuff, and I, you put like a nothing, like a little bit like your thumbnail. 
you rub it in the ends and it's my and i asked cinnamon i said do you know about this stuff and she says oh yeah you can't color your hair without it and i'm thinking well where were you when this stuff was coming out right <laughs> just thanks but um anyway it is some new stuff i found and it does keep your hair very nice um i like it a lot um there see there you go so i've got this got this sort of um nice background now I, my brush has had some blue on it but i don't mind i'm going to take a little bit of that magenta and phthalo blue color and i'm going to make a little bit of a i want some more white i'm going to make a little bit of a light purple color and now here see all this paint on the brush i don't want all that paint on the brush i use my brush to mix it if you use a palette knife you, you're kind of going to mix too much paint for such a little painting I'm going to wipe most of that off and then flatten my brush out and then just take a little more on the edge. Do you see that? And I'm going to come up here like this and just tap in this lighter color on the back of this bird here. Okay. A little bit of there you go. There, there's our little lighter color. And then he's just right by his eye. He's got something kind of light. And then those on his beak, a little bit of this. So there you go. There's a little bit of that right there. And let's put a little bit more on him. There you go. Let's just kind of vary the, you know, the color a little bit. Just tap that on there. I want a little bit of that right in here too. And on top of this white, maybe a little purple. Just kind of tap off the extra paint do you guys do that tap off the extra paint no you <laughs> gotta do that it's important you know just i know that's my problem you're not tapping off the extra paint nope well i that's wrong <laughs> <laughs> i don't today that's wrong it just goes against my my thinking pattern well i could i i i understand i can appreciate that but um but get over and do as i tell you yeah, kind of, right? Kind of get over side tap. Yeah, just there you go. Now let's tap a little of that dark back in there too. You can see that in the photo he's black. But we don't want a black bird. I mean we who wants a black bird? Well, I'm sure a crow would like to be a raven would like to be. I mean there's several birds that would like to be black. Well, I know, but what do they know? Nothing. <laughs> They're just birds. The purple is so much better than black. Gosh, anybody could see that. Absolutely. All right. Now, I need to take that white Posca pen, which I put somewhere clever. Because we, you saw me use it the last time, right? You guys, is this it? Yeah, maybe. All right. And a Posca pen, it just, they're awesome. Because um, they, they, they don't dry right away. And I want to outline the eye like that kind of this brown I'm going to outline the eye and then it's going to get going to get tinted back but i need to outline the eye and maybe i'll just do this as long as i'm doing it right okay so we're doing that now this is white dry uh not as dry as it could be so I'm going to take, let's work let's work on our branches now because we've got our sky done so I want to say that I've got a wiggly branch right here that's coming into here like that. And it's coming back up here. And let's let's make a branch coming down this way. So I like these these angle brushes because you need a little thin line. You just you know just use the edge like that, and you've got a really thin line. See? Yeah, you do. So okay, so we did that. So let's come on over the top like that. And um, if you, I mean, if you're going to do it, you know, you got the gallery wrap. I hope you you took the time. You hope you went ahead and got the gallery wrap because they're really quite wonderful. And um, they're nice right and it gives you something to do and you might we might come over here on the side as long as we're doing it and just do a sort of this dark green color and uh, maybe we'll just do something like that 
because uh, let's make this a little darker under here like that in a few places. All right. So now we've got something else going here. Now, can we take a little bit of this yellow while it's still wet and do anything? Let's see, it's still wet, so we may not be able to. If we did it, we'd have to tap it on. That's kind of dangerous. You're not going to, hmm, probably not the thing to do. Okay, moving on. Well, that's drying. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Oh, you know what we forgot? <gasps> no, what? Okay, so what we forgot is I was, um, Let's put some of this blue color on the bottom, too. Oh, my. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah, we want to have that. These are just nice. That they, they make perfectly beautiful little sets of things in, um, in this. There you go. There. So you, can just, you can kind of trim it and see what do I, what do I need that I need to fix or anything like that. Okay. There. So there's that bird. Now we're gonna take us. I want red. And I don't. I can't possibly. Now this is something you may not realize. When you're doing changing dramatic colors from purple to red, unless you go wash your brush off under the sink, there's gonna be purple still in that brush. So if you want a Especially really bright purple. color, start with a, another brush. So we're gonna start with yellow on this first. Okay. Ultimately, we're going for red, though, right? It's going to be red, but I want it to be a bright, bright red. And so, so I'm going with to white. Gonna start with white. Then, then I'm going to go yellow because I'm going to go yellow on it, right? Then I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to make a little orange color here. I'm going to put a little bit of orange back up in here like this. And let's put a little white with that. Kind of a light orange. Just put a little white in there, a little peach on this part of his his body. And I can put oh. Oh. I went too far. Uh oh. It's all right. Do we have to start all over? No, I went too far. So only part of this is red. So let's just take some white and do like that. There you go, see? Fixed. And that actually it's even better. That's what Bob Ross used to call happy accidents. All right, so what happened here? What did we make there? Oh, yeah, I remember. It's coming back to me now. So I want to, we did it, the white there, but I'm going to do, didn't we have a white circle there? You did, but I believe you took your finger and did that to it. I smudged it by uh -huh. mistake. You well, want to know was... if it was dry and, and it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. It's when you did well, the don't do that. Thing. Don't do that. <laughs> It's don't, when you use the pasta do what I pen. Say. And, don't do what I do. Yeah, right? I, I go, you know, that's pasta, and you put a big bead on it. I don't think it's going to be dry that quick. But No. Well, this is a series of unfortunate events, isn't it? I bet you can fix it, though. I can, but I'm going to just go ahead and put the eye in here in the purple. There you go. All right. And now I want a little bit of light purple here on the top of the beak. We'll probably have to dry something now. Remember that um, the um, that's what I was doing. We're going to get our, start putting our next layer of colors on. Uh, remember that to um, uh, I don't know what you're supposed to remember because I forgot <laughs> it myself. What's that puzzle? You should remember whatever that was. You should remember because, whatever I was maybe thinking. You want to tell me because I forgot it, but there was something we all need to remember. Yes, that cinema will be on after us. That's we, true. It will be on after us that we have an auction going on, gingercookauction.com for both uh, cinnamons and my paintings. Okay, here's our dark hair like that. Oh, uh, let's see, a little bit of the, remember I showed you last one, but if you missed the first one, this is the yellow oxide can be made using burnt sienna in yellow. And we want a little bit of that color under here. And do I want any of that on my branch? Well, maybe a little bit on the, now that branch is dried enough where we can, we can do that with it. Okay, oh, great. Okay, now, is this dried? Yeah, okay. 
So now we can go back, go back and do the red. Let's see if we've got the paint off. All right. So you think it's dry enough? Yes, dry enough. Okay. Yeah. Here's the cad red medium. Well, okay, never mind. Just a new brush because I've been doing something else with that one. And I can see it. I can see the colors. It can is it quite right. All right. So I need this nice bright red here. And I want some yellow in that red too. Just brighten this up here. These are our feathers. And then the top of this guy is red too. We'll let some of that yellow kind of peek through. That was a little glob of yellow I picked up by mistake, but that's all right. All right, so this is going to be bright red right here. There's the bright, and there's a little bit of bright red right up in here like that. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Now, what do we got? I've got the beak is a little bit longer than I want. So we're going to come in here and we're going to do a little beak surgery. You didn't know you could do that, did you? But you're going to, we're going to do some beak surgery. Just make it a little shorter. And still have it come, curve over the top, kind of like a Roman curve on this little nose here. But I didn't want it that long. Okay. And we definitely want it darker under there. We need this darker right here. Okay, so, so far, I got to tell you that um, I'm not liking this red. It isn't popping enough for me, you guys. It's just even painting it white, it's not popping enough. And that was cad red, right? That was cad red, but it is not bright enough. What, are you what, what brand that? was that, John? Um, you squo you squoze it. Oh, uh, that was cad red medium from Golden, but but it is not bright enough. What else we got? You want brighter, brighter. So, um, I think one of the ways we can make that look brighter is to take some of that purple out and go black. So we need to go darker on the on the purple. So I'm going to get out some black right here. Okay. What black are you using there? That's just Mars black. Mars black. All right. Um, so let's get, let's put a little black. This bird had a little black in it. So let's put a little more black on here. I like that. And let's see, here's his little feathers coming out. He needs to have, he needs to be, I need for that red to show up brighter. Uh, and I need it very dark. I need to get that circle around his eye less large. Because remember we talked about if you don't want it to look cartoony, don't make it too, don't make the eye too big, okay? And okay, so here's our, here's our reference photo, you guys with me? So what we need to do here. All right, so we have some purple in this bird, but we're going to go ahead and, and have the, um, we're going to do the black. All right, now that's okay. And uh, and I'm not liking the eye. So his eye, okay, let's just do that with the eye. I don't like that eye. I'm going to redo the eye because I don't like it. And here's the top of his beak like this, and it's a little bit of black over the top of his beak. Okay, and this, let's just reshape that. This is the wonderful thing, you guys, about acrylics, is that you've got so much latitude with what you can do. If you can't get a small line, just make a fat line and come around to it, right? Okay, now that's still, that's helping a little, but not as much as I'd like. Let's just put the, let's put a little purple and black together now. Up here, I'm going to just... I want this to be fuzzier and this to be kind of smoother. And let's just put a little bit of black right there. There you go. It's all good, right? Now, still 
doesn't do enough for the red. Can you see from the picture how bright red this is and how that's not red? So this is what happens. You know, this is when you need to buy, um, you need to get like a, you know, probably like a very, very bright orange, like a CAD uh, orange light. Um, this, uh, let's see, do I have that? I think I had it somewhere. Or, 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 here, this is just cadmium orange. Now, let me show you the difference when we use this color. And this is where people always say, well, when do you know if you have to have a brighter color? Now, you see the difference on that color? Now, let me just show you what happens when I put that color on this bird. Yeah. Kind of come up here like that, right? And you see how much brighter that is? And red is one of those colors because they're primary. That means that you, you can't really mix them. You can't, you could mix cad red medium and cad red light and get a brighter red. Okay. And um, you can also do several coats of red. It's another way to get something brighter. People don't realize that too. It's another way to get brighter. Let's take a little bit of yellow here. And let's see, let's take some yellow and cad cadmium. All right, now look here. Just and that's how much brighter that bird uh needed to be. Okay. And uh now I'm gonna take some white paint. And I'm going to come up here like this and just using the edge of this come under here on its tummy and just do that and, and there's also some white right here on his feathers like that. Now it's a much better looking bird, isn't he? Really? Can you see? Can you see? You can see that, right, John? He is looking better. Looking better. I mean, it just sometimes you, you just—it's not you. You've got to have the colors. And um, now let's take a little bit of that uh, magenta, and we can let's see a little bit of magenta. Too much paint on the brush, right? We keep talking about that. Now let's put a little bit of that magenta on here and pop this, pop this color up here. Needs a little bit of light here, a little bit of magenta on his beak, something under here like that. There we go. Much better looking, fun, fat bird. Yes and yes. All right. Now I've noticed from the picture. But he's very good if this beak came under here like that a little bit. Still wasn't happy with the shape of that beak. So we're going to shape it like that with the clouds. Come under here like that, something pretty light here, and just make that a little fuzzier. Ah, yes, we're close. We're getting there, you guys. Now, what else could we do, John? Well, we can come up here and do a little bit of purple here. So we just need a little bit of black. I think the black was was helpful. Need a little bit of the black in that wing. And um, cause the, there we go. And anything else? And this one for sure, this little tail feather here that's kind of rounded at the bottom. Let's bring this one back just that far. There we go. All right, now. Hey, we'd like to thank Marion the, for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you, Miss Marion. Marion, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The thing about that is, if you guys, and we appreciate when you guys, you know, could you know donate and stuff, and it's really very kind of you to do that. Appreciate it very much. When you do super chat, um, YouTube takes thirty percent. Thirty percent. PayPal takes like three. Three percent. So just. There we go, a little bit more of this orange color now. Now I'm going to go for one more thing. I, need, I want a little bit of magenta here. 
because I'm going to take a little bit of this magenta color with my cad red and magenta and see what I get. Let's mix that over here. Let's just mix that here so I can see it. Nope, don't like that. So mix it. Sometimes it helps. Now, everybody knows what napful crimson is. That's your standard red, right? That's red, red. That's your red, red. That's your standard. That's your red. Everybody knows that red, right? Everybody knows that red. Okay, so let's let's poke that up. See if we can get that open. It had a it did have a um cap on it, but for some reason it doesn't want to come out. There we go. All right. That's your primary red, okay? That is the now, red that's on the color wheel. Okay, that's the red on the color wheel. So I'm gonna grab some of that. And put that right here on this part of his chest and right up here, just right there. Isn't that interesting? Because you can see, can you guys see this in the photograph that this is a little darker right here? And then it goes a little orange or right, right up in this area, see? Then it gets a little bit lighter up here. It can kind of. You guys got to see that, right? Hey, we'd like to thank Deborah for the super chat. Thank you very much, Miss Deborah. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Now, I wanted to make this, um, I wanted to feel like this maybe was fall, okay? An autumn painting, as like it Like an autumn painting, as it were. So let's, let's bring in the dark. I want to say that there's a branch that's coming up this way. I'd say that's coming down myself. Is it coming down? You coming think it's down. coming down? Oh, well, it could be coming down, or I could be upside down. I could be painting on my head. You could be. I could be painting on my head. And, and, it could and, be I, I, and I would stand corrected. And then it, then it wouldn't be, then it would be coming up, yes? That is so true. So what if I was painting on my head? You don't know. Right? You, you, That's you don't know. My queen, you are absolutely so right. Oh, I know I am, and it's so good to be right, because I like it when I'm right. Okay. So now I could do that, and then I could have some, let's see, this takes a yellow and orange. I could have some fall leaves. Let's just take some yellow and, and cad red medium and make some, let's see, let's just use the brush as a leaf shape. Just kind of take it and push it down. See what I just did? I did. And then... Well, John did, but I want you guys to know. Oh. I know you got it. Here you go. So, so just a few little fall leaves um, can be effective. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, you've got, you can do that over here on the top. And um, it might be nice, you know, as long as we were the last of the big spenders. Well, what if we had a branch coming up here like this? Let's take the green. And um, see, like that. So then you could put something over there too. And of course, um, we want to go back to the um, the fact that your your branches are wider at the bottom and get skinnier as it goes up. But see, now when you look at the side of that, that's kind of pretty. And then we can um, might even have said that there was something coming down here at the bottom too, if you want to be that. You know what I mean? If you wanted to run it around the bottom, a few little branches, you could do that, right? Make it a little bit more... Um, 3D. You know, a little more 3D, yeah? It absolutely could do that. Um, so, let's... And it doesn't all have to be this. The leaves can vary in color, so you don't... Sometimes you can layer the colors of the leaves. Let's look, look this yellow is kind of gone here. Uh... Here, I want a little yellow with those leaves, too. Let's see, I'll wipe the brush off like that because I'm not getting the color I want. Here we go, a little bit of yellow. Yeah, there we go. Nothing is ever just one color. So let's come back up here and say that there's the top of this branch right here with the little bit of yellow. Let's just do that, okay? Yeah, make it interesting. Same thing over here. We just don't want to neglect this one. Yeah. 
Wouldn't be nice. No, it wouldn't be nice. You're not going to just make that branch a little thicker there. So you see, she's starting to come into um, into focus, I would say. Would you say that's true, John? I would say so. So we've got the um, some, some leaves like that. You can, you can you can just suggest a branch just by putting a leaf, by the way. You don't actually have to attach it to a branch. You can just imply that it was there. You know what I mean? So like even under here, you can just apply, imply some. Yeah, okay. Now, you know, the last thing we're gonna do is work on his little eye and his little peas. So and maybe about it. You got five minutes. My cleanness. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget, you can. This, these originals are going to be available um, on our website, gingercookauction.com, for um, the, the one week there, and um, uh, you can just register to bid if you want to own one of the originals. We'll have the gentleman on her. Um, her website will be doing the, um, you'll, the prints will be available through them, um, right? Okay. And I want to do, uh, let's see, I want some more white here. This bird had a lot of white and, you know, white's one of these, another one of these things where a second coat never is amiss. So then we come back over here and just kind of lay in some white. Yeah, we'd like to thank Vanetta and Elizabeth for the donations that came in through PayPal. Thank you. Oh, ladies. yes. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And um, really appreciate that. Absolutely. Let's do a little bit of purple underneath here. Just a little purple shadow on his tummy, right? Like that. So he looks round. Yes, you guys know that about that stuff, right? Um, all right, now I gotta find that fine sharpie that um because that other one wasn't a fine one. Just when you picked up, did you see the sharpie? Did I drop it on the floor? I did not see the sharpie, my queen is. You know, if I want to fix the um okay, so the don't forget, we'd love to hear how you like our so, and um, so in the app, you want to to enter to win the Salvador paint set and the rest of it. You want to? Oh, gosh, John, I don't know where the sharpie went. Oh, here, maybe it's this one. Okay, I think that's dry enough. Okay, so here's the little light in his eye right here. I'm gonna make his eye a little smaller. There we go. So that's cuter. That's looking good. Yeah, yeah, cuter, yes. And um, here's the black Sharpie. I'm going to make that a little smaller here. So you can always get stuff smaller. Add a little bigger little thing on his nose. And one last thing, I've got five minutes, right? I, I would like to have phthalo green and white almost makes a turquoise, it makes a turquoise blue. It doesn't, it's not really green. It's like a turquoise blue color. And I feel like we don't, we're, we're missing some colors in this background. Um, so I'm gonna add a few of this color. I wanna just come up here like that with this. Um, I don't need to put too much, but I wanted it. You see what that that small touch of color did for this? You don't need too much. I'll put it over here too, a little bit on top. It's it's kind of there. We go. It's a splash of color. It here just it's really interesting. What what co color is such an interesting proposition because, um, like for instance, I'm all out of yellow, good yellow. So let's open that up. Um, yeah, let's see. that yellow gets contaminated really fast in a palette. So, so you've got another brush. Yeah.
just sometimes you come back in and play with your colors. There you go. See? Especially after they dry, you can find them. They may have yeah, just kind of the final thing. Here. Just just let everything dry and come back and you know pop up something with a touch of color. Never hurts. Um ne just there you go. Because we're not doing any flowers. We just did leaves. So we're just sort of doing something like that. Now you've got your bird on the branch here. And I, and I think that's kind of fun. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and sign this. Now let me just show you how cute he looks with this one. The one we did from the earlier bird hop. See how, see how cute they are? Because well, even though the they're different. Almost go together. But they go together. See? And that's that's what's sort of fun about this is they go together and they and they're and they're painted in a similar uh, painting style, and uh, which is important. And um, I think that they, I think that's a successful, successful, um, successful painting right there. I'm loving it. So I hope you guys like it too. Just that little bit of phthalo green, I think, made such a difference. Uh, I hope you're liking these bird hops and you're having fun going back and forth and, you know, just sort of challenging yourself. Remember, you can always come back and watch this again and take your time with it. There's no rush. Um, there's uh, absolutely none at all. I'm going to sign this right here. So you're going to want to head over to Cinnamon at the top of the hour. She's on in about nine minutes. Nine to ten minutes, and she'll be doing her next bird. Have, have you keyed up our end, our anthem? You might want to watch this last little outtake of our auctions. I know a lot of you love it when we play that. Remember, you got that ready to play the outtakes. For I the do, auctions? my queenness. So you guys, so if, you, if you want a little break, a little laugh before you head over to Cinnamon, you still have time to watch this. It's only four minutes long. Yeah, this was some. Um, um, these are our outtakes from stuff that we've done. Again, uh, I want to show you this is the, the original painting, and well, here's our little bird. I mean, a little photograph, and you can see we've 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 put art in our lives, right? Have you Absolutely. seen that? You've just had to put art in your lives like that. And what's more important than having some art in your life? If that's what you want. There you go. Okay, that's it, you guys, and enjoy. The outtake, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, come back and comment to win. If you want to win the print, it's Bird Hop. If you want a hashtag Bird Hop or hashtag Salvador Paint Kit, if you want, want to have a chance to win the uh, it'd be Salvador the part, Kit, the Salvador Paints. So um, awesome. See you guys on the next one. Bye. Say everything? Yep. Think you did. Was that okay? I think so. 20 second spot only takes 30 minutes. Wait here. <sighs> One of the features that is offered on our website for and let's try again. <laughs> 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 Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really the best feature. <laughs> I did. I said click on the thumbnail. Okay. Then, 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 then I said, there's the robot. <laughs> Another great feature of our auction site is the robotic eviction. Um, start again. <laughs> <laughs> you think I drank, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Another great feature. You want to go from the robot again? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get that silly robot now?
One of the great features, one of the great features of our auction site is our robotic. <laughs> robotic what? Is the robot the option of let me try? <laughs> it's a ro <laughs> what do they call it an automatic bidding system? Okay, that's better because I can't say robot apparently. I and bidding at the same robot, time. But let's go for the automatic bidding system. Um, to bid, register to bid. Okay, let me start again. All right, I don't know how so I can. Close. <laughs> so close, almost had it. God, they couldn't afford to have me make a movie be there with a fire. Oh, we could never afford this. We couldn't afford this. All right, the, the budget bid for you, and then being able to walk away and not worry that someone has outbid you. Well, that's still good, but... <laughs> Buy a quarter. Don't worry what? about that. <laughs> We're having the hard, hard hugs from John and Ginger. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> no hard hugs here, people. You're on your own. We had our hugs. 